Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at the remarkable Barnesville Stack easel, one of the strongest and most reliable easels on the market today. As you can see, it is about six feet high and we can extend that height by raising this to about as high as you would want to work on a painting. The easel is made of 16 gauge steel tubing. It is <clears throat> all welded. There are no uh, bolts or no um, other kinds of attachments, which means that it's a solid frame and it's about as strong as you would want an easel to be. Here we're looking at the Barnesville easel clip. It is made of a very high tensile strength cast aluminum with a nylatron bushing. When we close the clip, we squeeze the bushing against the vertical post. That means we don't leave any marks on the post, we don't need any additional attachments, just the pressure of squeezing this against the post will work. The dimensions, one and three quarters and a half inch, are approximately the dimensions that you would use with a standard stretcher bar or perhaps a piece of masonite or a thinner stretcher. If you want a particularly wide space, say approximately three inches, if you're working on something very large, we can mill this off for you at no extra charge. Now we're going to place the canvas on the Barnesville easel. We can do this by simply pushing it into place and holding it onto, placing it onto one of the two clips. This is a way of making sure that your canvas is going to be on the level. We're going to take the second clip, raise it up, and now we've got the canvas on the two vertical posts. If you want to hold the canvas particularly firmly, all you need to do is set the Barnesville clip at a slight angle, and then you will find that the canvas is held in place very firmly. One of the remarkable things about the Barnesville stack easel is that there are no adjustments to move the canvas forward or backward. Some people see this as a disadvantage, but think about it. What you want your canvas to do is to stay parallel to the surface that it's going to be on, and that is how the Barnesville stack easel holds the canvas. If you want to have vertical walls, you want this canvas essentially at the same tilt as the wall, vertical. Now, a second feature of the no-tilt canvas is that if you are going to be making a painting or a drawing of a subject, perhaps a still life or a model, you are going to want to hold this at a vertical position. If you begin to slope this, you are going to find that you are beginning to create perspective illusions with larger objects in the foreground and smaller objects here, and that is going to create a, a distortion, a perspective distortion that you don't want to have. In spite of all this, if you really do need to have a sloping easel, perhaps to handle a more runny material, then you can use the back of the easel at about a 30 degree slope. Let's stack these easels together. 